drive. I tried to hit left to right, started to just laser a small tree on the field. I just tried to hit it left of it, and then it normally bounced uh, left to right. And then from there, I've got a shot at lap, and then luckily I started at 7 9, and then I made one part that was a good eagle. The course is looking beautiful. Uh, the greens are superb. Uh, they always treat us uh, good. I yeah, played practice round on Sunday. Uh, Brad Little is, is always uh, looking to help professionals if they want to play a free round. So it's a beautiful golf course. I'm willing to come and play any time here. Pascal Gunther, 17-year-old amateur, making the cut with rounds of 70 and 73. And believe me, his first round conditions were really tough here at the RBM. He's currently two under for the tournament and certainly will learn from this experience with the professional golfers. Nice putt there. A lot of things. Good things ahead for this young fella. Ian out of the trees after laying up on the fourth hole, the par five. That one on biting nicely, leaving him with a makeable birdie opportunity. Excellent stroke. Currently three under for today, eight under, hunting down the leaders. Llewellyn left his chip a bit short, putting for birdie. That one bouncing after hitting the back of the cup, trying to save par. Nicely done by the young man. Greg McKay now, uphill eagle putt, should have learned a bit from Llewellyn. Also a bit steamy. Hopefully he saw the line nicely. He can make his birdie. That one sliding on the low side. Tap in par. Unfortunate three putt for Gregory. Harry Koenig now. From way back. Running that one nicely through the bunker. We'll have that lengthy putt. But at least he'll be putting for Eagle. I was wondering... More than likely wondering how he got it there. Vaughan now from the centre of the fairway. Bringing this in nice and high. Gets that one to stop nicely. We'll have an eagle opportunity. Carl from the rough after laying up. That one, unfortunately not quite getting up the slope. Leave him a tricky uphill birdie putt. Harry now for his eagle. Tracking nicely, unfortunately, just missing that. But a tap in Ferry. Back to level for his final round. Carl now should have learnt a bit by Harry's putt. First half is uphill, then it takes the slope, picks up a little bit of speed. Judge that to perfection. Also getting his round back to level that birdie. Vaughan now with an opportunity for his second eagle in four holes. This one tracking so beautifully, unfortunately just catching the lip. But he'll tap that one in, sure, to get to seven under, trying to keep the leaders within his sights. Ryan now laying up for two. At second bounce, almost in all. Unfortunately, coming out the rough, you don't get much spin. Aiden now from the bunker. He will have that left for his paw. Keelan just missing the green to the right, taking the flag out, hoping to chip this one in. Coming up a little bit short. Didn't expect it to grab that much. Ryan now downhill. And just running out of pace. But easy par. Keeps him within two shots of the lead. Which he had a bit earlier on. Hayden. Trying to save his par on this par five. 
fortunate one pulling up short on the edge will be disappointed with the bogey on this bar five Keeler now after his chip came up short read that putt perfectly and extends his lead now to two shots you need a golf ball that goes far you need a golf ball that goes far and flies straight in any wind. A golf ball that goes far feels great off the tee and puts you in control. With a micro-engineered cover that boosts spin on every low pitch, high lob, or flighted wedge that stops on a dime for a kick in birdie, you need a Z-Star from Srixon. Built for distance. 